Hey guys, Mr. Planners here. Welcome to day two of math. Let's go ahead and kick things off with our lesson this morning by going over our 12 months of the year. Here we go. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Cha cha cha. Very good, guys. Very good. We're getting faster on that one. We're getting faster. Good job. So we just went over our 12 months of the year. Let's go ahead and go over our seven days of the week now. If you'd please be so kind to sing with me, I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, you can stomp, you can clap, you can click, whatever you want, whatever makes you feel comfortable. All right? Here we go in three, two, one. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Oh, very good. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause. Fantastic. Yes, we just went over our seven days of the week. Now, if you remember from previous lessons, we only go to school five of those days. And those days would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We have Saturday and Sunday off. We can always tell them when we're looking at our calendar because we can see that they are different colors on our chart here than the other five days. All right? Speaking of days, Let's go ahead and look at our calendar right now. You will notice that we now have a new number on our calendar. It is the number 15. And that is because today is Tuesday, September 15th, 2020. Okay? Today is Tuesday, September 15th, 2020. And if I was to write that using digits, let's go ahead and get this stuff out of here from yesterday it would look like this. Using only digits, I would write 9, 15, 20. Okay? That means we are in the ninth month, that is September, the 15th day, and the year is 2020. Alright? Remember that, because we're going to keep doing it from now until the end of the school year. That's all we're doing. With the date anyways, alright? Don't get too excited. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our yesterday was, today is, and tomorrow chart. We'll notice that today is Tuesday. We know this just because we went over our calendar, and today is Tuesday. The day that happened yesterday, happened in the past, it has already happened, is Monday. And the day that hasn't happened yet, but is happening next, would be Wednesday. Okay? So today is Tuesday, yesterday was Monday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. Questions, comments, or concerns? I didn't think so. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to our number chart now. Uh, the past couple of days, the past couple of lessons rather, we have been going over uh, counting to 50 by ones. Now when I say counting by ones, that means we're just counting regularly. One, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead now and count to 60 by ones. Okay, I know it's a lot of work, but if we persevere, that means if we try really hard, I think we can do it. All right? And if you don't know some of the numbers, that's fine. Just try to count along where you can. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Halfway there, guys. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 
40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Now, let's go ahead and practice counting by fives again. That's where we go five, ten, fifteen. We're counting by fives. Let's go ahead and do that all the way to sixty this time. All right? You ready? Here we go. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, twenty, twenty-one, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Good job. Good job. All right, guys, go ahead and grab your packets, get your computers ready, because we are going to jump into our lesson for the day. I'll see you there in just a second. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flanders here. Welcome back for another round of math. Thank you for doing so well during our morning meeting today. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if I could get everybody to please write their name at the top of their paper as well as the date I would greatly appreciate it the date is 9 15 20 that would be September 15th 2020 that's what that stands for all right while you're finishing that up number one wants us to bring in our birthday chart, which we're going to do. Got it right here. Number one says, use the class birthday graph to answer these questions. How many children have birthdays in November? How many children have birthdays in November? So we're going to pull over our birthday graph and we're going to look for November right here. How many of our friends have birthdays in November? That's one. We're going to write the number one. Okay. Question part, or I'm sorry, the, the second part of our question is what is the third month of the year? What is the third month? So I'm going to bring the chart over and we're going to start counting till we get to the number three, and that's going to be our third month. One, two, three. Our third month is March. March. That is our third month. So we're going to write March. M R Ch March. And then the last part of this question. How many children have birthdays in that month? So let's pull back over our birthday chart. We're gonna go to March. We see that we have Tony and Lydia that have birthdays. So one, two. Have two birthdays in that month. All right. I'm going to pull the birthday chart out of here now. Move this over here. Now we're going to look at number two. It says circle the number that is one less than 24. So if it's one less, it's the number we would say before 24. Okay, circle the number that is one less than 24. So if we took one away from 24, we would get the number 23. Okay. 
and then it says underline the number that is one more than 28. So we need to add one more to 28 and we have to underline that one. So what number comes after 28? So if we, if we were counting, the next number after 28 would be, let's see, we've got 27, 28, 29. We're going to underline that one. Very good. Very good. Okay. While we are finishing that up, I'm going to go ahead and move on to number three. Number three says, one of these is my favorite bear. Use the clues to find my favorite bear. It is not on the left. Cross out that bear. So this is the left side. This is the right side. So it's telling us that the bear all the way on the left is not it. So we're going to cross that bear out. It is not in the middle. Cross that bear out. Well, we've got two bears here, two bears here. This bear would be the middle bear. And we're going to cross that bear out. It is not fourth. Cross out that bear. So we need to count until we get to four, and that's going to be the fourth bear. One, two, three, four. That's the fourth bear. Cross that one out. It is not second. Cross out that bear. So second is another way to say two. So we're going to count until we get to two, and we're going to cross out that bear. One, two. This is the second bear. Okay, circle my favorite bear. Well, this guy's crossed out, this guy's crossed out, this guy's crossed out, this guy's crossed out. This guy's not crossed out. Let's circle him. Boop. Very good, my friends. Very good. All right. You go ahead and take a second and finish that up. All right, let's look at number four. It says, number the clock face. That's gonna be the first thing that we do. Okay, so 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that is our clock face numbered. All right. Now we need to show two o'clock on the clock. The first thing we should do is draw our hour hand. Now, if you remember, our hour hand is the short hand. It's the small one. And if it's going to be two o'clock on our clock, our hour hand should be pointing at the two. So our short hand is just like that. Yeah, I made it. Maybe I could have made it a little bit bigger, but yeah, that's our uh, that's our hour hand pointing at the two. Now our minute hand is telling us we are at a brand new minute, brand new hour. And that's always going to start at the 12. I'm going to point our minute hand up at the 12, and our minute hand is the long hand. Okay? Okay. Now 
Very good, my friends, very good. So we've now shown two o'clock on our clock. What I'm going to do next is move on to number five. If you are not done with this yet, don't worry. There is no rush. You, you can pause the video and then catch up when you are done. Okay? Okay. Number five says circle all the even numbers. Now, even numbers means that we have an equal pair of something or, or we're, we're not... Uh, the, the best way I can describe it is we're counting by twos. I know some of my friends probably are familiar with that, some of my friends aren't. But an even number is when you have the ability to have equal amounts and you can count to it easily. So, there's a bunch of even numbers here. And I'm going to show you how to identify them. Here's two. That is our first even number. Okay? Because let's say I had two friends. All right, I could give one friend a piece of candy and one friend a piece of candy. I've given out two pieces of candy. But if I have two friends and I've only got one piece of candy and I can't split it up, well, that's an odd number. That, that, that's an odd situation. So an even number is when you can easily give out to people like that. And trust me, I am trying to find a better way to explain it while my lights stop going out in the classroom because they're just distracting. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. But yes, uh, best way to explain it, though, is an even number is counting by twos. So we've got two, we've got four, we've got six, we've got eight, and we've got ten. All right? These are the numbers that we, you know, you would count by twos with. So go ahead and start circling those. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Those are your even numbers. We've also got another row of even numbers. And we're going to start at 12. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay? Now you'll notice that my even numbers are lined up with each other on this paper. And all the numbers that aren't circled, those are what we call odd numbers. Okay, it is not easy to count with them. It feels very awkward to try to count by an odd number. Okay, but even numbers we can split up evenly. We can count by them appropriately. The best way to to identify an even number is if we can count by two to get to it. Okay. Okay. What I am going to do now, my friends is turn the work over to you. This was A side. That means we go over it together. But you do have a B side you need to do on your own. Okay. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns with this, please let me know. Otherwise, I will check it when the packets turn, are turned in. I'll check it when uh, the assignments are turned on Schoology. And we can, we can talk about it if I see any problems that. Okay? I'm going to get running for now, though. Uh, again, if you need anything, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next lesson. Bye, everybody.